is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV. And then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. CTOS-AR, data reconstruction in progress. All right, scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell, do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Ah, oh, shit. We've got us a clash now, bags. Well, shit, can you do anything to lose your new friends? Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Motherfucker. All right, cool. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now.
CTOS, stay hard. Data reconstruction in progress. In the suspect. Putting an end to the chase now. Our bags, I can't shake these fucks. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them, throw rocks at them, destroy them psychologically with cyber bullets. Just keep them busy until the transfer is complete. Be careful, it's taking too much damage. A few more hits and it's toast. server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. I'm listening. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Nobody's gonna map this fruit, boy. Yes, we're all very impressed that I didn't kill you. Celebrate too long. New mission coming up. I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. All the bodies and that. Oh, fuck. Ah, this whole area is sus. Look at all the security. Is this what you do to a building that's supposed to be under repair? Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think of that. Anyway, what am I looking for, Bags? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble.
out and look. What the hell? This is it. The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Oh, fuck. It looks like my mum after quiz night. <laughs> what happened to it, though? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Two more data relays to go. No. Ugh. One more data relay and I'll have it.
don't need the shite. Tossa. stream and the video from these 36 and got it go back to where you found that spider bot and i'll show you the ar reconstruction from the night of the explosion yeah got it ctos ar data reconstruction in progress you brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Oh my days, you telling me Clan Kelly gangsters done the bombing? Oh, I've seen this on my murder shows. It's like a handoff. Kelly's are just their suppliers. Cuz, look. They clearly ain't with Clan Kelly. Does that mean they're with Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Shit, for real. Hey, Bags, who was controlling that spider bot? Do a scan or something. I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Wait, what? The feds watched all of this happen? The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Yo, what if we could just, like, quantum leap through this shit, huh? That'd be wicked. Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Ah, bless, bro. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Yeah, got it. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Ah, oh, that's Zero Day's signature. Yeah, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to fire all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. 
Yo, Zero Day had multiple crews running this shit. Kelly's were just a cog. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spinerbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Ah, oh, it's fucking bullshit, man. The Feds knew it wasn't dead, so that did the bombings, but it kept letting everyone believe it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. <laughs> Stay back! You see this? Albion's taken over Scotland Yard. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I mean, fuck the feds, but fuck Albion too, man. Fuck all of this. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Run a search. Make it quick. What? Look at them. Huh? Initiate lockdown. Cut the damn hack on this vehicle. Is that supposed to be funny? Stay alert! Clear! Heading out! ATL unsuccessful! Circling back!
control. Let's find whoever's playing with the door. You can. Sweep in the area. What's wrong with this door? Give it up. Put the door down. in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Control, we are still on the suspect. Over. Careful! Control, we have a seriously injured officer. to last <laughs> officer needs an ambulance they need to do some what do you want i'm in pursuit of the target keep your hands in check mate or your ass will find yourself there's our target over Oh, I can't handle this. Shooter! Uh, big mistake! Uh, oh. I have an injured pedestrian. Do something. Shit! Over. Shit! Shit! There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Bingo. Officer down! Officer down! In for a look. Let's move in. Let's scare them out. Control, we're 
pursuing the suspect. Anyone have visual? Anyone? Terminating pursuit and coming back. Bags, is this the right spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you peep who last used it? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Ah, uh, cool. I'm all over it.
That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spiderbot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. through this last bed path. Yep, got it. Scanning Spiderbot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Sierra 42, this is Control. An alarm has been activated near you. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. Come on, Bags, don't leave me hanging. Where do we go? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
Auto drive now enabled. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered you regularly pings your these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Ah, that's a good spot to do some shady shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Oh, find us a way in, Bags. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. digs this. What else can I find? Right there. Draw out the targets. I need vehicles on our side. Gunfire over there. Check that last known position. Checking it out. I'm taking fire. I'm due to 
Laisse moi seul. Suppressing the target. Watch out. Shots fired. Hey, check this shit out. It's the fucking back cave down here, but for like cops or whatever. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So how'd they end up sniffing around the tone bomb? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Wait, so Albion's in with Clan Kelly? Man, fuck the feds. I've been saying that forever. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Snatching people off the streets? Bro, that's so fucked up. You know what? Let's do something about it. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead.
This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Bruv, I wouldn't want to spend a minute trapped in the EPC. And one of our family dead sick is in there. We better get him out. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. 